this approach is 100% more enjoyable than than the conventional farming. So, like yeah, the whole mindset of not uh, or not just scouting for pests and uh, applying some insecticides and uh, killing that, killing that, killing you know that insect, killing that thing. And so that's not no longer the thing. It's like encouraging the beneficials and then the let the nature take care of the things. Usually, we are everybody is on a spray schedule uh, for uh, one or the or the other pests or fun, you know, fungicides or this and that. So we have been, uh, we are not using any of those because we don't need to. My name is Gurpreet Singh Brad, farm in Langley, British Columbia in Canada. And uh, we grow blueberries. We primarily grow three varieties. It's Calypsos, Auroras and uh, Liberties. So this farm that we are standing on is 60 acres. And we started planting this in 2018. We are six. And uh, we uh, basically are from uh, Punjab. It's a uh, northwestern part of India. Yeah, we are stewards of land. Farming is what we do. And uh, this is the profession that we like because it resonates with our, our culture. We think it's a, it's a noble work. It's a noble profession. Farming is the, is the basics where we actually generate things. Here you kind of get to feed people and to nourish people and, you know, I would say that's where healthy mind comes from. We've been working with Kuprit for, this is our fourth season. The berries and the bushes are, are beautiful. It's really a, a pleasure to see uh, plants that look like this and a crop that looks like this. Gurpreet has been a joy to work with because he's taken the program and the mindset to be his own. And uh, that's what where we really seek success is when people embody the, the principles of regenerative agriculture. The enjoyable thing about consulting is when farmers are happy to be doing what they're doing and excited to be seeing what they're seeing. And that's the case here. What I'm trying to achieve is uh, is to grow nutrient-dense berries. They are a superfruit, and a superfruit should be a superfruit. So they, the consumers, those who are buying these berries to get health benefits, like they, they should get those health benefits. And that's that's my goal from the beginning. I wanted to grow nutrient-dense berries, and you know that took me to the soil conferences that you know in turn kind of you know, opened the whole chain. And the biggest, uh, you know, compliment that re I received was one lady, like she came and she said that, oh, these actually taste like blueberries. <laughs> so uh, that, that was a huge compliment. We can say that, you know, by the looks of the plants and everything, but until we measure it and uh, we have some concrete data about it, it's hard to say, you know, what is working and what's not. So in order to confirm that, SAP analysis is, is, is a, is a go-to tool. And that has helped us a great way to, to manage the excesses as well. Like there are some excesses sometimes, like in the front of the field, uh, we had a history of uh, the land usage history prior to we buying this property. Uh, this was a mushroom barn and then it has lots of uh, mushroom compost sitting over there. So that's loss of nitrates and uh, lots of other nutrients that was that was actually hampering the, the growth. And we were thinking of it uh, as a, as a deficiency. But uh, once we got into SAP analysis, things start, you know, falling with foliage, we can correct it easily. On on the growth of the plants, uh, so what we have seen is like the internodal distance has dis decreased since we weaned the plants of uh, synthetic nitrogen. And uh, and the leaf size has improved. And, uh, and overall, we, we see a little bit of waxy sheen over the on the leaves with the fruit size and, and overall quality markers have all gone, gone up. We follow the post-harvest program, uh, the AEA, and the reason we do is because blueberries set the buds for next year's season in the fall. So we would ensure that the plants have all the nutrients and energy to do that for an optimum bud set for the, for the coming year. And we also like to feed the microbes in the soil. We do cover cropping, we do uh, uh, you know, mow, mow and blow where we uh, mow the cover crops from the, from the berry middles, from the alleys and uh, throw it onto the burns and we haven't used any, any pesticides or, or uh, insecticides and uh, we don't uh, disturb the soil, we 
kind of you know right now we are working on towards integrating some animals we'll see how how success we get into that one but that's just on the trial but uh, you know we we do soil primers kind of you know feeding the soil the whole approach is towards like that and uh, no synthetic uh, you know fertilizers that damage the soil biology the whole approach is towards getting the soil biology and uh, you know healthy plants healthy soil so you know that approach and then it's it's a mind shift uh, we rely uh, much more on uh, now we are taking care of the pollinators and in turn the whole biodiversity or the ecosystem around the farm you know that is that is improving and in turn is like it's more like working with nature kind of thing right now we at, at AA we love working on blueberries because they respond very quickly some of the differences we see right away are increasing the leaf size and thickness and sheen as well as improving growth and decreasing dead tips that you can get from calcium boron deficiencies. We meet farmers where they're at. We have no judgments around conventional growing and we can make a big difference and improve things whether you're a conventional or an organic system.